What is up, my beautiful people? I hope you're having an amazing day. And today's video, we are going to taking a look at Android 16 ROM for our Poco Phone F1. Yep, it's been a while. This phone has been completely neglected by the old ROM community, and the source built ROMs haven't been updated for a long time. Like the basic lineage OS and stuff, they do get updated. They have a dedicated community after it. Cause this device was great at the time it came, but just a couple years later, for the same price, you can upgrade to a better body, better display, better camera. So everyone just left. But thanks to developers who are still sticking around we have android 16 completely working fine on our beryllium again this is a complete aosp build so it doesn't have any kind of extended features like pixel features or just custom rom jargon it's completely fresh stable and clean so the developers are still updating the device trees but for starters this is amazing this is still kernel 4.19 yet the smoothness is quite amazing there are a few bugs like the ui doesn't quite update rapidly when you change the wallpaper or it still doesn't have the support for face unlock not even the standard one let alone the infrared ones you might still have to wait for that and if you want more customized custom roms i think by the time i upload this video evolution x 11 will be up but just taking a look at ui as you can see basic android aosp stuff you have the blur new quick settings yeah quite amazing I love how the stock Android now looks, quite far jump from Android Oreo. This device has 8 years of Android right now. These are the basic Android app ones and the basic Android system ones which are great. Again you can customize pretty much any of it. Save it by just going back. Going through more stuff like you have the basic monitor saving engine. There are no pixel features extended right over here. So even if you go to lock screen you have newer clocks but nothing much even the wallpapers so going back going through apps you do not get any kind of camera in this rom so if you have any kind of stable mio camera or gcam that you already are using you can just go ahead and install that works just fine even the 4k video with 60 fps going through more stuff there is still quality of life features like circle to search which is nice even the live recent apps panel has been completely working fine right over here as you can see the animation is working if I just exit it, still works. Here is how the weather app looks. Quite fine for stock Android. And then just your basic Google app stuff. So heading right to the settings. These are how the new settings look. Pretty simple as the stock Android gets. You have sounds and vibrations. Here is the new volume panel. You do not get spatial audio support yet, but I'm hoping it returns soon. So going through display, nothing much. You do get basic hardware level fixes for the whole black leading and stuff. So touch works fine. The response is fine compared to whatever the device previously had. Double tap to wake mix a return. I think it works. Yeah. Going back, nothing much. Even if you go to the battery, you have charge control battery information in which cycle count is broken or maybe just mine. So you have to check that on your own. The backup has been fine without the SIM. So going through more stuff, you have thermal profiles per app which is nice if you still game on this phone you have miscellaneous flags with play integrity spoofing built right into the aosp rom which is great live translate basic stuff and directly going down to the about phone section android version 16 june security patch the latest one which is quite amazing to see this phone come right from android 8.1 oreo i think which is way long back and yeah guys that's pretty much it on android 16 rom for our poco phone f1 i hope you guys enjoyed if you found this helpful please drop a like and if you want a dedicated installation video for this rom please let me on the comment section below but if you want to just try it out right now you have to download the rom use the recovery given inside the zip yep this is a dynamic partition rom so if you already have a dynamic recovery it may fail installing from the recovery itself so i would advise you to use a pc and use adb side load then it will just install fine and see you guys in the next one.